So today I'm doing a top five list for the greatest uh, Spider-Man villains, and that goes through um, Amazing Spider-Man, Ultimate Spider-Man, all that, and kind of combining them to make them the ultimate villains for Spider-Man. And uh, we're going to start with number five, which is Venom. And Venom would be a lot of people's first choice. Chances are basically because he's big and ugly and has teeth like a goddamn T-Rex. And also he's black. And I don't mean racist-wise, I mean he's actually a big black suit that attaches to you and uses you. And he's first introduced as kind of a weapon for Spider-Man to use and become stronger. And has only turned to be one of his most deadliest uh, enemies that he ever has to face. Uh, the main reason Venom isn't higher here is because he's scary, he's mean, but he never really did anything terrible to Peter as far as I can recall. Not in the Ultimate Universe and not in 616. He's kind of just a threat and then nothing more. I will say though, his design wise is pretty cool, especially if you're like 12. Number 4 is Dr. Octopus, um, probably because he's so smart, that's why he makes my list. That and he leads the Sinister Six at time, and to lead those crazy fuckers takes a lot of work. He's also kind of a good guy, and he is now actually Spider-Man that we get in the comics currently. So he's a mixed bag, and it's complicated to read him since he's sometimes insane and sometimes makes sense. So he definitely deserves to be on that list. Uh, number three is Morlin, or Malin, or Morlun. Whatever his name is, some of you are just looking at his picture like, who the fuck is this? And this is the person who actually kills Peter Parker. Not only did he beat his ass in public and rip out his eye, but he basically killed him, and then Peter had to sacrifice himself to kill him and then come back and, you know, you know, whatever. But he's still not dead, because he's like an ancient fucking evil creature, so it's ridiculous shit. And I mean, he does die because Peter bites him, but is he really dead? This is Marvel, so that's a no. Oh, and his haircut, it's just magical. Number two is Kingpin, and he's not even really a Spider-Man villain. He's actually Daredevil's villain. Still, this fat piece of shit nearly kills Spider-Man a bunch of times. On top of that, he's fearsome and can take a beating from Spidey, sometimes. Not in jail, though. Yes, that doesn't sound, I know it sounds perverted, but it's not if you read the shot, okay. And he uh, actually shoots Aunt May. Um, he, he shoots the old lady that everybody somewhat loves. No one ever gets close to Aunt May, but he did and with pretty much ease. Um, I think, I mean, the I, I, reason I love it is because I don't think anybody else would hurt Aunt May, but he really doesn't care. And of course, Peter laid the smack down on him, but it didn't change that. This was one of the most fucked up events in Sp uh, Peter's life, and Kingpin did it, which makes him one of the best villains out there. But the number one villain is Green Motherfucking Goblin. Now why? Where do I start? Let's take a quick look, shall we? It's a small list, but it's pretty fucked up. He poisons MJ and kills her unborn child. That's pretty fucked up. He fucked Gwen, that was Peter's girlfriend, and had two babies with her. Then he sent those babies to kill Peter. Again fucked up. He made his own son insane, which was Peter's best friend, and treated him like shit. That's a pretty shitty father. In the Ultimate Universe, he actually kills Peter Parker in a fight. And last but not least, he actually killed Gwen. Despite some blaming Peter because he went to rescue her, he's uh, Green Goblin is the one who threw her off the bridge and ultimately ended uh, Peter's first love. So Norman is probably the most evil son of a bitch in the comics and definitely deserves the number one spot on my top five list for Spidey villains. Evil, badass, whatever you want to call him, that's him. This is Peter Parker's Joker, and he's a damn fine enemy and probably one of my favorite enemies in the comic universe. So he definitely deserves number one spot in Peter's life.